Welcome, I'm Eileen Johnson. Today we're going to talk about bacteria. Our objective then will be to write an equation to model the problem, then solve. Previously you worked with the formula for interest compounded continuously. Here's our equation. If you recall, P represented your principal, R represented your interest rate expressed as a decimal. So now you will use the same formula except the letters used for the variables will be different. So we're going to change, instead of using the P for principal, we're going to change and I'm going to use a sub-zero, representing the initial amount. Now this doesn't mean this is going to be zero, it just means the initial amount. We're going to change the R from interest rate to now we'll call it the exponential rate expressed as a decimal. There's your K. We've got two problems for today. The first one, the number of bacteria in a sample is 87,000. After one hour, the number is 10,000. Find the number of bacteria in the sample after two hours. Okay? Now, we're going to write it up here. So I'm going to start with, here's my formula. And let's substitute our values. Well, what was our initial amount? That's usually the easiest to find. The initial amount was, well, the number of bacteria in a sample is 87,000. Now we've got our E. K is our exponential rate. We don't know that yet, but we do know T, which is our time, because it says after one hour. So I'll put a one in here. And then what's our amount at time t? Well, think of it as your ending balance. That's what I do. We'll put 10,000 here. All I have to do is to start with solve for k. Once I have that, then we'll finish the, the problem. So to start with, I want to get e alone. So I'm going to, I've got 87,000 times e to this. So let's divide both sides by 87,000. 87,000 divided by 87,000 is 1. 1 times all of this is all of this. So I have e to the k times 1 is k. Let's do a little bit of tidying up here before I work on my e. I'm going to think of 10,000 as 1,000 times 10. Do you agree? 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. Let's think of 87,000 as 1,000 times 87. 1,000 divided by 1,000 is 1. 1 times all of this is all of this. So what I have is 10 divided by 87 equals e, let's move this over, e to the k. Now how do I get to the k? I'm simply going to take the natural log of both sides. And when I do that, oh, the e goes away. And what I'm left with is k is approximately equal, or k equals this number here. If you put that carefully into your calculator, yes, I'm going to look, you should get this number, or very close to it. Notice that k is negative, which means we've got a dk. And let's double check that. Well, the bacteria started at 87,000 and went down to 10,000, so a negative would be our k, representing a dk. Now, to finish the problem where it says, find the number of bacteria in the sample after two hours, all I have to do is let my t for time equal 2, and let's just put it into our equation. So I have, here's my formula. Let's substitute our values. Now, we don't know what A is yet. That's what we're looking for. The initial amount was 87,000. K, we said, well, now we're looking at two hours, and I, uh, oh, for time, so time will be two. And then our K, let me back this up so I have some room for K. K is this number here. So I'm going to put this number right here. And let's tidy up. And that was two. 
So you're going to carefully put this into your calculator. 87,000 E, it will pop up so to allow you to enter this exponent, but you have to carefully enter it like this. There'll be a parenthesis. You want to enter negative 2 point all of this. And then instead of putting a parenthesis there, I want you to select times, put the 2 in, close your parenthesis, and then select enter. And if you do that, A will approximately be this number. Yes, I'm looking. Okay, let's round this. Show how many bacteria. Let's round to the single bacteria. I look to the right. The number is 4. If you recall rounding, that means that we add 0 or do nothing to the 9, drop everything else off. So A is approximately 1149 bacteria. So in just two hours, we went from 87,000 to this amount. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's do the next one. The initial population of a bacteria sample is 10,000. After 10 days, the population has grown to 25,000. What is the population of bacteria in the sample after 20 days? Okay, we're going to do the same thing. See if I have some room. I think I'm going to write it over here. Let's start with our equation. So we'll just copy it down. Now let's substitute our values. Again, we're looking for K first. Once we find K, we'll use that to find the number of the, the population of bacteria in the sample after 20 days. So you got two parts to this, just like we did before. So what was our initial amount? The initial, oh, how nice, initial population was 10,000. Okay, we don't know what K is. Our time then after 10 days, so T is our time, we'll put 10 in for T. And then what is our amount of time T? Well, the population has grown to 25,000. So the amount will be 25,000 over here. Same process as before. I've got 10,000 times all of this. So I'll divide both sides by 10,000. 10,000 divided by 10,000 is 1. 1 times all of this is all of this. And let's just write this in standard form. K times 10 is the same as 10K. Over here, do we need to tidy it up? Well, let's do like we did before. Let's, let's think of 25,000 as 1,000 times 25. Let's think of 10,000 as 1,000 times 10. These two cancel and give us 1, so we're left with what's over here. Let's continue over here so we have enough room. So I have this number here equals e to the 10k. To get to that exponent, you're going to take the natural log of both sides. Use parentheses, be careful here. These two will cancel, and now you've got an extra step. Here's how I do it, because this can be kind of messy. Oh, excuse me, let's write this as 10K. It's 10 times K, so all we have to do is divide both sides by 10. That's right, you're going to enter this into your calculator the exact same way you see it. Top down, you'll need to use parentheses, and you'll have to be careful. So it's a natural log. 25 divided by 10, close parenthesis, all divided by 10, enter. And if you do that, K is approximately, I'm going to look again, this number here. Let's get it off. Okay, notice we have a positive number here. Did our amount go up? Let's double check. Well, we started with 10,000. Then it's grown to 25,000, so of course we're going to have a positive K. The only thing I have left to do is now finish the problem. What is the population of bacteria in the sample after 20 days? So we're going to let T equal 20. Here's my formula. 
And let's copy it down. You like these? I think they're kind of fun. So, we don't know what the amount is. We know the initial amount was 10000 K now is, excuse me, I have to back up. This is our T, so K is this number here. And we're going to multiply that by T equal 20. So we'll put 20 in for our T. Notice I'm setting it up so you can enter it right into your calculator. Don't forget, this is times. So carefully enter 10,000 E. You'll get the parenthesis here. Enter this number. Don't forget to put times there. 20, close parenthesis, and then enter. So A is approximately, we're looking one more time, this number here. Wow. Well, let's round to the nearest bacteria. I look to the right. Oh, we've got a 9 there. That tells me I have to add 1 to the underlying digit, drop off everything else. So if I add, let's put this in so we can fit it in. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry over. So we have 62,500 bacteria. Wow. So we start with 10,000. After 20 days, we ended up with 62,500. Well, what do we have left for today? What is the population of bacteria in the sample after 30 days? Guess what? That one's for you. Well, that's all we have for today. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you next time.